We're going to be covering stroke in today's tutorial. Stroke is located on the right side panels. It's the fourth one down. We open up stroke. You can see it has weight, meter limit, cap, join. You can align the stroke, the type of stroke, give a start and end. What a stroke is, is it's the outline of any object or text placed on the artboard. So let's come over to the pen tool. And right now we're just going to make a simple shape. And then go back to the selection tool. Alright, so now you can see the stroke has a weight of one point. So it's pretty, pretty thin. Let's zoom in. Now weight, you can add weight, which means you can create how thick or thin the actual line is of the stroke. So this object, we can add weight to it, and you can see that the higher the weight, the thicker the line. Cap is the end portion. So you have the butt cap, round cap, or projecting cap. Notice the round cap, it rounds off the cap. Projecting cap, it actually extends past the original point, and you have the original butt cap. Now join. This is any, you can think of it as a joint, so anytime there's an angle, that's the end. So if we do a round cap, you'll notice the end right here is not round. That's where the join comes in. So we want to select it by either clicking on it or click and drag. Click a round cap, you'll notice that the joint becomes round. We can extend it. Then finally, you have, you can align strokes, excuse me, so you can align stroke to center, so the actual center of the line is in the middle. You can align the stroke to the inside or to the outside of your line. So typically you want to align strokes to the middle. Then we have type. So you can have just a typical solid line, you can have thick, thick, you can all the way go down to dashed, or you can have it hash. So there are many different options to creating a stroke. And again, you can do this with any object that you place on the on the artboard. So you can do this with, with text as well. Then you have a start and end. If there's a start point, you can change and add something to the start. So you can have a circle on one end, and the end is where the object ends, and you can have a barbed arrow on the other. So again, remember, whenever you want to change an object, you want to make sure you first select it with the selection tool, then you can go through and change it with the stroke.